Greetings, I am Yuli Ilyashenko from the Independent University of Moscow and Higher School of Economy. Uh, I will speak about bifurcations. Bifurcations are on the boundary of the catastrophe theory and differential equations. In the words of Laplace, differential equations describe motions of greatest planets and uh, motions of smallest molecules. On the other hand, differential equations deal with things that children like to do. They plot the pictures on the plane, say circles, and a point moving along a circle describes the motion of a pendulum. The pendulum oscillates and the point uniformly moves along a circle. Children plot spirals like this and like this. And this is pendulum with friction and this is pendulum with forcing. All these are phase curves of differential equations like this with epsilon smaller than zero here, epsilon zero here, and epsilon greater than zero here. What if we add nonlinear terms? It may happen generically that this picture will become like this for epsilon equals zero. This one will preserve the same. And here, sort of a miracle will happen a limit cycle will be born. This is a famous bifurcation investigated by Poincaré, Andronov, and Hopf. Poincaré said that bifurcations like torches enlighten the way from simple differential equations to complicated one. This happens with the Lorentz attractor here is the Lorentz who discovered the attractor. Uh, the Lorentz system was very was similar to a very simple one. This linear system may be solved by a, a young student. In the Lorentz system, there are two extra nonlinear terms, and the face portrait becomes quite complicated. Uh, it was a puzzle for mathematicians. Uh, an effect and a darkness around. And uh, by means of bifurcations, starting with simple parameter values, here is R, which stands instead of 28, and investigators started with small values of R. A simple picture, a more complicated picture, R grows, even more one, the Andronov-Hopf bifurcation happened, two cycles were born, and at last the full complicated uh, system uh, came. Mm, the uh, Lorentz attractor is uh, uh, plotted here. Uh, the point moves along the phase curves first around first in one bench, then in another one, then again in one bench, then again in another one. And uh, uh, the, this motion is uh, explained by the chain of bifurcations that I have uh, shown uh, very briefly. Um, this uh, chain of bifurcations was investigated by Guggenheimer and Williams uh, in West, uh, in the West, and by uh, Shilnikov, uh, Bukov, and Afraimovich uh, in the Soviet Union. Uh, these bifurcations included more complicated effects than Andronov-Hopf bifurcation with uh, the generation of a limit cycle. Uh, they included bifurcations of homoclinic trajectories and appearance of non-trivial hyperbolic invariant uh, sets. Uh, to conclude, I will thank Valente Ramirez, who helped me to prepare uh, this presentation. Thank you.